The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, welcomes you to the public meeting for the I-75 interchange at Northwest 49th Street Project Development and Environment Study. Tonight's meeting will provide an overview presentation of the study and its objectives. You are invited to view the project displays here tonight and speak directly with the project team. You will also have an opportunity to express your opinions and comments regarding the project. Obtaining public input and comments on the alternatives that have been developed is very important. The study team will take all comments into consideration, determine the environmental and community impacts associated with each alternative, and document the findings. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us or Jacqueline Paramore at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. FDOT is currently evaluating alternatives to provide a new interchange with I-75 between the existing I-75 US-27 interchange approximately two miles to the south and the existing I-75 State Road 326 interchange two miles to the north, northwest of the city of Ocala. The new interchange will be located near Northwest 49th Street and will include the extension of Northwest 49th Street East to connect to the Marion County Northwest 35th Street Extension Project. The I-75 Project Development and Environment, or PD&D study, is in the second phase of the project development process where an engineering and environmentally feasible alternative that meets a community transportation need is determined. Simply stated, the PD&D study determines if there is an engineering and environmentally feasible alternative to meet the need determined in the planning phase. This process is mandated by the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, and the Florida Law. It represents a combined effort by technical professionals who analyze information and document the best alternative for a community's transportation needs. A PD&D study has three main components, an engineering component which entails the identification and analysis of potential design solutions, and environmental component which evaluates potential impacts to the natural, social, and physical environments, and a public involvement component to inform and involve all interested parties in the development of the planned transportation project. The new interchange and extension of Northwest 49th Street supports the county's long-range transportation plan for a new east-west corridor in this area of Marion County, and it is number one on their priority list. The new interchange is needed to improve regional mobility within Marion County, as well as accommodate future traffic growth associated with the Ocala 489 Commerce Park. The new interchange is also anticipated to provide congestion relief at the existing US-27 and State Road 326 interchanges and improve the economic vitality and job creation of the area. This project will include the future extension of Northwest 49th Street, Phase 2C, east from Northwest 44th Avenue and will connect to the Northwest 35th Street extension, Phase 2B. The final design of Phase 2B is currently ongoing and will be constructed by Marion County in coordination with Magnum Materials Mine. An interchange justification report was prepared that analyzed the traffic anticipated to use the new interchange in the year 2045. Approximately 26,500 vehicles per day are expected to use the new interchange by the year 2045 and 21,500 vehicles per day are expected to travel on the Northwest 49th Street extension as shown. The new interchange is anticipated to operate at an acceptable level of service under all of the alternatives currently being evaluated. Level of service, LOS, is a qualitative measure of traffic flow with LOSA representing the best operating condition and LOSF representing the worst. Ten preliminary interchanges were evaluated. The results indicate that four alternative interchanges warrant further evaluation and six alternatives were eliminated from further consideration. An evaluation with the top four alternatives is on display here tonight. The four alternatives currently under consideration are on display here tonight for your review and comment. 
This PD&D study began in the summer of 2017. Since then, the team has performed the traffic analysis and has developed the alternatives. We now need your input to refine these alternatives and select a recommended alternative. A public hearing will be held to present the final study recommendations and is anticipated to be held in the winter of 2019. We encourage you to provide your input. You can comment in several ways. You can fill out a comment form available here tonight, send the form or a comment to the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 office at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida 32720. Visit our project website at www.cflroads.com. From there, select I-75 from the Road pull-down menu and click on Search. When the new page comes up, click on the PD&D tab and then click on the FPID number 435209-1. Lastly, you can send an email to the project manager at heather.grubert at dot.state.fl.us. All comments received at this meeting or postmarked by February 16, 2019 will become part of the public meeting summary. Thank you for attending tonight's Alternative Public Workshop. The presentation has concluded. You may now continue viewing all the current project information. Project team members and FDOT staff are available to answer questions and record comments.